Hi, it's Alex Hyford here, I'm co-director of Blues Point IT Recruitment in Burton on Trends. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, running a successful interview. Um, so there are a few points I want to cover. Uh, the first point being, have you looked at the candidate's CV? What I don't mean is they're just skim reading, but actually have you, you know, spent time looking at the person's achievements um, if, the, if they're on there. Um, this is a good way to obviously then construct a, uh, a format for the interview, ask some probing questions. Um, point two would be, have you, are you selling the opportunity in the correct way? Um, gone are the days where candidates were, were queuing up uh, to come and work for you. Um, Candidates are very hard to find, they're gonna be employed by your competitors, well looked after, well paid, so when you're having an interview with them, you really need to sell the opportunity, i.e. You know, what are the benefits, the positives of working uh, for your company, um, understand what the pleasure and pain is, so you know, if there's lots of pain where they, are, um, where they currently are, then there's a good chance that they may come, wanna come and work from you, for you. If they're getting lots of pleasure, and you're just offering them more pleasure, i.e. more money, then, potentially a counter offer may stop them wanting to, to, to join you. So a, uh, an interview is a very good way to assess that um, before you make an offer to them. The next point would be the interview format. So um, is it structured? Um, somebody just coming in and having a chat over coffee is probably not the best way to make a decision about if this person is going to be the best hire for you. A structured interview process where you're asking competency-based questions. So these are probing questions where you're asking people to talk about their experience, maybe how they've delivered a project, challenges they've over overcome. That's the best format to use. Um, and remember, an interview is very much a branding exercise these days. So um, if they've come in and had a positive interview with you, that's great. Uh, even if you don't hire them, you know they'll go out onto their social media platforms, GitHub, whatever it is. Um, you know, maybe talk to um, their colleagues um, in, in a positive light about you as an employer. If they've had a negative experience. Obviously, it's quite easy these days for people to use things like Glassdoor and write a negative uh, review about an interview. So these things are definitely worth bearing in mind. Um, so wrapping up, um, what I suggest was. Really do think about uh, the interview process. The more prepared you are, the more structured, the better outcome. Take your time when hiring people. Don't hire people quickly. Uh, everyone's a winner. Thank you.